Hello there and welcome. Now let's go on a quick ride. Run the world of sports in 240 seconds. Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday Dara insists league football in Nigeria would not resume until basic conditions on club licensing control are enforced. Dara says his desire to see the Nigerian league grow beyond the current state through proper licensing and financial control is unwavering. The minister believes the step is critical for building stakeholders' confidence following the reclassification of sports from recreation to business. Super Eagles midfielder Ogene Kare Tebo has expressed delight at linking up with Galatasaray. A Tebo will spend the 2020-2021 campaign at the Turkish Super League club after sealing a season-long loan deal from Stoke City on Wednesday. The 24-year-old spent the second half of last season on loan at Spanish club Getafe. Manchester United are close to making a breakthrough in their efforts to sign Jadon Sancho from Borussia Dortmund, with progress made between United and Sancho's representatives on the issues of agent fees and personal terms. Chelsea are close to signing Hens goalkeeper Eduard Mendy, with talks ongoing over a deal likely to be worth an initial £80 million as the Premier League club continues to search for a new number one. Asna are anticipating a third bid from Aston Villa for Emiliano Martinez as they hold out for close to £20 million for the goalkeeper. Action across Europe's top five leagues is set to get back underway this month with strict contingency measures still in place due to the coronavirus pandemic. League action returns in England this weekend with the encounter between Fulham and Asna live on NTA on Saturday. The new La Liga campaign kicks off on September 11 with NTA Sports Channel set to beam live matches. Casta Semaya says she will continue to fight for the human rights of female athletes after losing an appeal against new rules on the levels of testosterone now allowed in female middle distance runners. The double Olympic champion who won gold in the women's 800m event at the London 2012 and Rio 2016 Games lost her appeal to Switzerland's Federal Supreme Court on Monday. Serena Williams kept alive her hopes of a record equal in 24th Grand Slam singles title with a 4-6, 6-3, 6-2 win over Tsvetana Pironkova in the US Open quarterfinals. The six-time champion struggled early on with the variety of shots from the unranked player but recovered to claim the second and third sets. The 38-year-old will now play former world number one, Victoria Azarenka. Brooks Kepka has withdrawn from the US Open, which begins next Thursday. Kepka struggled with a left knee injury, which saw him sidelined for three months last season and also needed on-course treatment for his hip during his title defense at the US Open PGA Championship in San Francisco last month. And that will be all on Sports Tidbits for this week. Enjoy the rest of the show.